All right, so we're back with a, another video. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and just configure all of the routing. So for example, if I were to go to the menu page, right, I should see all of the guilds. Okay, now, if I select one of these guilds, it should take me to the dashboard page with the guild ID as the, uh, as the route parameter. So for example, if I pass in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, assuming that's the guild ID, I should then be able to land on this page. And also if I click on these icons, it should take me to its corresponding page. And if I click on this icon over here, it should also take me to the menu page. So in order to get this to work, well, first let's start off with the menu page first. We'll have to actually use the next router package. So there's a hook called use router. So let's go inside the menu page and we'll call it use router. And we can use this to programmatically navigate users on our application. Okay, so we can navigate them from the menu page to the dashboard page. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do it is whenever they click on the actual, uh, whenever they click on the actual menu item, we're just going to navigate them. Now, because we have the actual, uh, and because we have all the props already inside menu page, uh, what I'll do is for this div over here, I'll actually just register the on click event listener here instead of just doing it inside guild menu item because it doesn't, it feels kind of weird just like doing it inside here at like the child level. It's better to do it at the parent level, in my opinion. So, for example, I can go ahead and register an on click here. Okay. And what I'll do is when the user is clicking on this element, we want to go ahead and call router.push push and then parentheses and we want to pass in the url so what exactly is the url going to be well it's just going to be slash dashboard slash and then the guild dot id like that okay so now watch this if i go back to the menu page so let's go to the menu page and if i were to click on any one of these servers so let's click on bmw server you're going to see that it's going to take me to slash dashboard and then the id of that server is going to appear over here Okay, so if I go back, let's click on Audi server, let's click on test server, you'll see the IDs are going to be different. Okay, now later on, uh, we'll have to go to the back and implement an API route that will check to see if the ID that the user is passing in for the route parameter, we have to check to see if the user can actually configure that guild. So there's actually going to be an additional step that we'll have to do, but we'll, we'll worry about that later once we finish with setting up the routes. Okay, but I just wanted to mention that. So now that we've set it up so that we can navigate to the dashboard, let's make it so that we can navigate to all the other pages. Um, but let's go up into the, let's see, let's go into the layout right now. So right over here. And let's go into app bar. So first, let me just make it so that whenever I, uh, whenever I click on the menu, whenever I click on the menu icon or this part over here, it's going to take me back to the menu page. So for this, uh, I'm trying to think what would be the best thing to do. I wonder if we can actually use the router inside dashboard layout. Uh, we don't actually have to use a router. We could also use a link as well. So for example, instead of, you know, just uh, instead of just like, you know, using like a router, like calling the hook and everything, we can actually just wrap everything inside a link tag. So inside the app bar component, we're going to go ahead and call the use router hook. So const router equals use router. And I'll make it so that when they click on this whole div, it's going to navigate them. So on click, not on can play on click. And then we'll go ahead and call router.push and then it's just going to go to menu. Okay, now you could, if you want to, you could actually go into the dashboard page. You can call the use router hook and then pass it down to sidebar and app bar. But I'll just leave it like this for now. We will also need it on the sidebar component as well. But let's test this out. So I click on menu, it should take me back to the menu page. Okay, perfect. I like it. Awesome. Okay, so let's go back to the menu page and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the sidebar where we are going to get the router. So 
let me just zoom out a little bit. Hopefully you all can still see the code. Let me go ahead and return the JSX and then call router use router. Okay, awesome. Now, after we have this router, we need to make it so that when we click on these icons, it's going to uh, it's going to take them to the uh, the uh, the correct page with the actual guild ID. Because remember, we need the guild ID in the parameter. Okay, so if I click on the terminal icon, it's supposed to take me to slash dashboard and then the ID and then slash commands. But how do we actually get the route ID, or I should say route parameter? Well, there's a property called router.query and if I refresh you're going to see that it's going to pop up right over here okay so I can go ahead and just easily grab that okay so I can just reference router.query.id and that should give it to me that should give me the uh, the guild id now let me just tidy this up a little bit so I'm going to do const route equals and I'm actually going to move this to a different file but I just want to do this so i want to make it so that it's just going to have like the name of the route so this is going to be dashboard and then the path is going to require us to take in an id so that's going to be the guild id and it's going to return slash dashboard and then id like this right so basically uh i'm just going to have an array of these routes let me also add the icon as well so that way i don't manually you know just have them like hard coded like this we can use dynamic rendering so that way it's a lot more uh, cleaner okay definitely want to take advantage of the uh the features of react so for this one it's going to be commands so for this route, it's going to be slash dashboard, slash ID, slash commands. Okay, remember, uh, let me actually, should I call this get path? Should I call this get path instead? Yeah, I'll call this get path instead. Because it's a function, so might as well. Let me move this down here. Okay. And so when we get the path, when we resolve the path, we're going to have the ID, which is, we're going to pass in the router.query.id for the parameter when we call get path, okay? And you'll see in just a second what it's gonna look like. The last one is gonna be settings, and we'll have to create the settings page in just a second. Okay, so now instead of just hard coding this whole stuff over here, let me just comment this out. And we'll do routes.map, and then I'll do route for the parameter name, and we're just gonna render a bunch of divs or not a bunch, but just a div. And for the uh, for the key, I'll use name because we'll these names will be uh, will be unique. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to render the icon. So now, if we look over here, uh, did I use the same icon? Yes, I did. So let's just change it. So use terminal and then fa wrench. And you're going to see now that we have the same exact result, but with less lines of code. Okay, but now what we want to do is we want to make it so that when we click on the div, right, the parent div, it's going to navigate the user to the correct route. So we'll call router.push, and all we'll do is we'll just call route.getPath, and then we have to pass in the ID, and the ID is just router.query.id. Now, uh, let's see. It's going to give us this issue because it's saying type undefined is not unassignable to type string. Um, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying sometimes, but... This should work. Okay, it looks a little bit, I, I know it looks really ugly, but I'm thinking if there's a better way that we can fix this. But unfortunately, unless if we actually use like server-side rendering or like get server-side props or get static side 
get, get static paths, we wouldn't be able to actually pass in the query param. So it so TypeScript doesn't know if this actually exists. There should be a way though where we should be able to just let TypeScript know. But don't worry though, because in order to actually visit these routes, right, you need to actually have a query ID. You need to have the ID in the route parameter. If I don't have it, it's just going to give back a 404. Okay, next doesn't know that page exists. So we can definitely imply that the route will always be present. Okay, now if I click here, it should take me to commands. As you can see, the address bar, the route changed. Now, if I go to settings, it's going to give me a 404 because we don't have that page created yet. But don't worry, we'll create it right now. So we'll go inside the ID subfolder inside dashboard and we'll create settings.tsx. And I'll just copy the commands page and paste it in here. And we'll just change this to settings page. Okay, and now we can just refresh and we can see that we're on the settings page. We're on the settings page. And I can go to the main page again. I can go to the commands page. I can go to the settings page. I can go back to the menu. Uh, here we go. That was a little bit weird. It's a little bit slow sometimes. I think it's because we're in dev mode. That's why. There we go. Okay, and it, there we go. So it works great. So yeah, that's awesome. So we can go to every single page and we can go back to the menu page. Okay, so now that we know the routes work, uh, cool. So we can actually now uh, start to have our own pages and have those pages render out their own stuff. So for the dashboard page, we'll likely just render out analytics for the commands page. We'll render out all of the, like, you know, guild application commands. And for settings, Settings would be stuff for like, you know, setting logs and stuff, I guess. But I'll let you all, you know, be creative and configure the pages however you want. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how, to, how we can set up routing for all of our routes. Okay. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go into the back end. And we're going to first configure the permissions endpoint. Because right now, right, if I type, you know, let's say, for example, I'm not in a guild or I might not be an admin of a guild that I'm in that has the bot. And if I just type in that guild's ID right now, it would actually search for that guild and it would actually allow me to see all the configurations. And we can't allow that to happen. So what we need to do is we need to make it so that it protects the route if the user does not have the proper permissions to actually view the configurations for that guild or that guild's dashboard so i'll show you how we can do that in the next episode so thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode peace out